All right, welcome everybody for a going fishing product review of my crawdad net trap. Uh, these things produce. Uh, we got 900 on our last trip using these nets and uh, 400 the week before. So this is all it is. They fold up nice and neat inside of a little bag here. You just open it up and you just let it go. It's about three foot diameter, and uh, you put, throw these out, let them sink to the bottom, uh, let them sit for about 30 minutes, go back and uh, pull them up, because they just, these lay flat on the bottom, and the crawdads, they crawl up over to where you put your feet. So, there's a couple of places you can buy these. Uh, Amazon's kind of expensive, they're about 22 bucks a piece. Uh, AliExpress, an overseas website, you get them for about $8 a piece. Uh, so I got all of mine uh, off of AliExpress. But when you do get them, they got these narrow little cords. And if you use that cord that they got, it's so small when you pull it up. First time me and Nick used them, we were cutting into our fingers. It actually cuts. So you definitely need to replace. I use paracord. And I replaced these. This, th this had the skinny uh, nylon stuff on it too, so I replaced it with good paracord so it would last a long time. Uh, another thing, <clears throat> I added two one and a half ounce weights because if you don't, it'll never reach the bottom. So it needs a little bit of weight, and yet it'll still slowly float down. Uh, you do need to add those weights, otherwise it'll never sink down. Uh, this is just a toy noodle uh, that I cut into one foot sections uh, for my floaty thing. And I got 20 feet of nylon cord here. Uh, that, that's plenty deep. To get. Uh, when I'm fishing open water, I focus on uh, between 10 and 14 feet of water is where I drop my traps. And you don't need to go out during the nighttime either. You can catch all of these crawdads during the day in 10 to 14 feet of water. <clears throat> Another thing I use, I got these little mesh bags, is what I put my food in. And then I use safety pins and safety pin it to the center of the trap. So these work really well. <clears throat> you just safety pin. And then this is all I use for bait. Just get yourself some Frisky's cat food. I mean, this here will bait up three or four of these, no problem at all. And what would you cinch it? That food stays in there really well. So that'd probably last you most of the day once on a set of cat food. But <clears throat> I will put a link in the description below of everything that I've used to modify these traps and Amazon and AliExpress links to where you can uh, find these online. But they do work. Dude, I've got at least 2,000 crawdads with these this season already. And from shore or from the boat, they work great. Let me show you how you fold back that. Hold it, twist it like that. Holds up really simple. And you just slip it back in the bag. These work really well, so you don't need to let them sit very long like you do a cage trap. And I really think you're going to catch some bigger crayfish on these because I know some of those openings and stuff in those crawdad traps are kind of narrow and I'm not sure if those giants that we've been catching they could, could even fit in those type of traps. I mean, we've caught some giants this year. but. I'll put a link to all this stuff in the description and I hope you enjoyed this product review. And I'll... Next, I'll show you these traps in action and how good that they work. Man, they catch giants and very productive trap for catching crayfish. All right, enjoy the next clips and I'll see you on the next episode.